know it's not often I do stories or videos talking about stories like this but every once in a while stories like this come up and you just gotta talk about them you can't ignore them because then you're not helping the problem and yes I know it's been a while since I've done a video a few days uh, typical leave I guess uh, and I do have a few planned for the future coming up here next few days <clears throat> but I wanted to talk about this now I first saw this story heard about it from a guy on YouTube who I've subscribed to been a lot subscribed to for a long time now his name's Alpha Omega Sin uh, and so I figured you know this is actually something that does need to get talked about so as you can read in the story here in the title and this of course yeah take a guess was in the States a uh, special ed student who recorded bullies tormenting him accused of felony wiretapping now let me tell you the story before we get into this this was about a kid I don't remember how old he was maybe it'll say actually we can just take a quick look here uh, does not say just says he was in high school I guess uh, that's such a creepy ad in the middle there <laughs> but anyway um, this kid special ed kid was getting bullied and people you know I hate fucking bullies I really do but it's it takes it to a whole new level when a bully decides to pick on someone with special needs you know a special ed student uh, and let again let or let alone in high school I mean seriously you you failed as a bully if you're gonna pick on that because the average bully would probably be like really you're gonna pick on that easy of a target so anyway back on story here this kid he uh, or teenager I guess he's been picked on uh, you know beaten up attacked by these bullies both verbally uh, and physically uh, just tormented basically and he's he's done the usual things that people tell you to do when you have bullies he's you know told teachers told his parents told the principal and I mean it's kind of the human race I mean so you're gonna get fucking idiots but what are the odds that so many people so close to the situation make the wrong choices teachers have seen this going on they don't step in they don't help uh, I don't know about other students they don't talk about it uh, the principal he doesn't do anything about it so you know one day the kid decided after you know failed attempt after failed attempt at trying to get help uh, for people to get pe people to try and help stop these bullies is he decided he was going to uh, record with his iPad which I guess the school supplies you with iPads which man we didn't have that when we were in school but uh, anyway he recorded uh, the audio of himself for like seven minutes or something getting beaten up and uh, insulted and everything and you can even he I haven't heard it like I don't know if it's public for you know listening to or whatever but apparently like you can hear the teachers even talking in it and everything and they just don't do anything and it's pathetic isn't even a strong enough word it's a disgrace it's uh, it's just downright inhuman basically anyway so the kid the teenager he took the recording home showed it to his mom she uh, she was furious of course because I guess she didn't know it was going on or something <sighs> and so she took it to the principal and uh, <laughs> the principal decided the best plan the best action was to involve the police to phone the police and have them brought in now just for a quick second off topic here the American police are not exactly the brightest in the world it wasn't that long ago that there's a video you can even look it up on YouTube I forget if I think it was Missouri but I forget where there was these cops that were uh, they literally on camera on YouTube you see them trap a dog with like a leash around its neck or whatever like a stick with the, the noose around the thing 
and the dog was cooperating and they literally shot the dog in the head and they killed it on YouTube on camera and uh, you know I love dogs but I'm off topic here the point is cops in the states are fucking idiots anyway <clears throat> the cops show up and the cops arrest not the bullies they don't even talk to the bullies they flat out ignore them they arrest the special ed student, the victim, for wire tapping, which as, you know, even the people who aren't, you know, old enough to really understand all this stuff, basically, you know when you see a movie and there's like a spy or something, he has a wire underneath his clothes to record audio. That's basically what this was. They arrested him because he recorded the bullies' voices without their permission, basically. Can you tell me how fucked up that is? How screwy, how backwards, how freaking retarded that is? And so the kid was taken to court over this. And wouldn't you know it, the judge himself agreed with the cops and agreed with the principal and the teachers and agreed that the victim was in the wrong, that the bullies were perfectly fine. It's such a disgrace. Now, I think it was one of the cops, oops, that went dim again, one of the cops got it lowered, the uh, charge down to, like, whatever, one level lower down the justice thing. I forget what it was exactly, uh, but he still was charged, which is the problem, that you charge the victim. And it, it just goes to show, like, how many times do I have to say it? The States is complete shit. You hear about these types of stories, like, once a month, and then even on the news it gets talked about. And it gets all this publicity that it doesn't even need. It's, like, glorifying it. You know? And it's, it's pathetic. It really is. What are the odds that all of those people would take the bully side and agree with them? Like, are you serious? You know, this they should be glad that this kid only did what he did. Because if he got pushed to the point where, you know, it's lucky he didn't turn into one of those kids you see on the news who, oh no, 16-year-old kid comes in school, like just this while ago, it was uh, <clears throat> in Pennsylvania, I think, um, where a 16-year-old kid showed up to school with a knife and stabbed 19 students. And like, was it a janitor or something? I forget. But... And they said on the news, everyone said he was such a quiet kid and he kept to himself and he didn't bother anyone. And they're like, we don't know why he would do this. Because I would bet he was bullied. He was picked on. That's, a som that's something that bullies don't understand. They don't think about it. And maybe it's because, you know, they're young and... I don't want to generalize, you know, males in that age group, but it's true that girls are, on average at that age, more mature than guys. And, uh, but my point is that, oh, I just totally lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. My tr point is that if this kid got bullied, he could have easily snapped. And he could have been on the news as one of those kids who comes to school with a gun or a knife and killed that bully. He could have, you could have literally pissed off this kid so much and tormented him so much that he would be willing to throw away his own life by going to jail just to kill that bully. And that's something that bullies don't understand is you can only push a person, a human, so much before they snap mentally to the point where there is no turning back. They will turn into one of two things. Either they will become depressed and they will kill themselves or they will try to kill you. And I would bet you if this kid did do that, if that kid had turned into uh, you know, a murderer or whatever, it would be on the news. But guess what? I bet the cops would be like, oh, what was up with this kid? He had problems. Blah, blah, blah. He shouldn't have you know, been in school and they would have made up all this other shit. It's just sickening. And now some people who watch my videos, they might say, you insult people all the time. 
I don't, you know, there's certain lines you don't cross. I'll insult people who are generic idiots, who are legitimate apes, who go after trouble. Anyone who causes me trouble, I'm going to insult them. I'm not going to, you know, go after some random special ed person and bully them. That's, no, that's just fucking stupid. <sighs> you know, and people say like, oh, what should you do? I'm going to let you in on a secret. The, the truth about the best way to deal with bullies, because believe it or not, actually, back in, uh, was it junior high? I think it was junior high. Even I had a bit of bullying issues. Now, I didn't get beaten up or stuffed in a locker or any of that crap. Because as I've said before, you know, I'm Canadian. We don't go to those extremes. It was basically just name-calling. But the trick is to not give a fuck about the bullies. If, like, what I did when I got insulted, which I don't even remember all the things anymore that they called me but you just I just laughed like I chuckled shook my head and kept on walking like seriously if you you don't even have to flat out try and just ignore them because then you know some bullies are gonna like be like hey I'm talking to you and they'll shove you or something look at them in the eye smile wave laugh whatever and then walk off don't lash out at them don't fight back because that's not gonna solve you anything I mean, you can do self-defense if they are literally trying to beat the hell out of you. Yeah, you can fight back. Stupid screen going dim again. But my point is, ignore them. Laugh it off. Just show them that you don't give a fuck about what they or any other person has to say. Because if you don't give a fuck, then there's no problem. <sighs> anyway... It's stories like this really make me glad I'm not an American. Like seriously, I, I it's such a broken system in the states, and like the justice system, the education system. It's it's just fucking pathetic, really. If I remember to, I will uh, I'll throw a link in the description for this article. You can read the full thing. Uh, I've kind of talked on enough, I think. I've covered pretty much all of it, unless I'm missing something. I don't think I am. But the point is, we have to talk about this type of thing. We can't just be a bystander and ignore it, you know. And if you are a kid in school, and whether you're being bullied, I'm telling you, don't fucking lash out. Don't fucking, uh, you know, get depressed. Just laugh it off. Just insult, or don't insult them, but, you know, try and brush it off. Don't let it. Don't let it bother you. Now, if they are actually beating you up or something, then yeah, tell people. And if you're at a place where teachers and stuff don't help, newsflash. There are other ways to fix the problem. And if you see someone being bullied, even if you personally don't know the person, like the kid, or hell, even if it's a kid who you don't even particularly like, like you're like, oh, we don't, you know, we're not friends, we don't really get along, but if he, that kid's getting bullied, don't be a fucking idiot. Don't be a bystander. Save them. Step up. Be a man. And protect someone. Because no one. Oops, got a snuffle there. No one deserves to get bullied. It's just that simple. I'm Original Blood Ace. More videos coming soon, as always. I'm a the cult of personality, the cult of personality.